Welcome to Fantastic Living. I'm your host, Tui Fan. Today I'm going to show you how to make two dishes that is really delicious on their own, but together I think they make a fantastic combination. And it's a really delicious soba noodle and also a gochujang chicken, or we'll call it spicy Korean chicken. And gochujang is a red pepper paste that's fermented and it's a staple in Korean cooking. And um, you can use it as a sauce, but as a marinade, it's so delicious and it's very complex and it's really a nice way um, to dress up a chicken. Um, and I air fry this so then it's extra healthy. You can also grill it or you can do it on the um, stove top, whichever way you like, but I like the air fryer, just you set it and forget it kind of. So um, it's a great way to do something simple and wonderful for your family and friends. Let's get started. What I have here is I have about a pound of chicken thighs and I like chicken thighs because it's so juicy. Um, dark meat, obviously it's really juicy and um, it gets really tender, but if you want to use white meat, you can also use chicken breast as well. Um, I like to have the skin on because it gets really crispy um, in the air fryer. So that's why I have chicken thighs with the bone in and um, with the skin on. So if you don't like skin, you can also do boneless, um, skinless as well. So you have some options. You need about three cloves of garlic garlic, um, and then about two scallions, two to three, depending on if you um, want more or less. And I use that just in the marinade. And then we have a knob of ginger as well. And then we have about two tablespoons of sugar. This is a Korean red pepper, um, and it's used when you're making kimchi or whatnot, but if you don't have this, you can use cayenne pepper or chili powder, um, depending if you want it spicy or not. Or you can omit it altogether because the gochujang will give you that red, red color. And this is the gochujang. It's a paste, and you can find it at local Asian supermarkets or sometimes I've even seen it in um, American grocery stores and a little bit goes a long way um, and this costs probably a couple dollars so it's fairly inexpensive you're gonna need about two to three tablespoons of this um, you also need one tablespoon of sesame oil and it's gonna give a really nice nutty flavor and then we also would need about two tablespoons of soy sauce. So there are pretty common ingredients as far as Asian cooking goes. It's nothing really crazy that you're gonna have to um, go look for. So um, let's get started. I'm going to mince the garlic and the ginger and then we'll cut up the onions. It just gives it a nice flavor in the marinade. So if you don't have it, it's okay, but I like it. Um, so that's why we add it. We'll mince that, we'll make the marinade um, and then we'll put it all together and then we'll get started um, on the soba noodles after. So. So the reason why I learned how to make this is because there used to be a grocery store uh, where I lived that sold this and it was something that was so quick and easy that I could um, do myself and just cook it up as a quick option. And then I am not close to there anymore, so I'm like, oh man, how am I gonna get this um, chicken that I crave sometimes? Because it has a really sweet um, and also really um, salty kind of taste and it kind of checks all those boxes of the flavors that you're looking for. And it's kind of a nice, uh, easy meal that you can eat with rice or in tacos, Korean tacos, so it's pretty versatile. And what I like to do is I like to make it and freeze some of it so that it's ready to go and you can just defrost it and eat it whenever you're craving it, so. And obviously it's really great on the grill too because it is a type of chicken that you can barbecue as well. So we'll put this in here. Okay, and with ginger, I just peel it. Some people use the back of a spoon and that will work too. And then I just use a microplane and grate it. Ginger would just impart a really nice nuanced flavor to it. I've done it without ginger and it's still really good, but this just makes it really, really good. I think these days everyone's looking for meals that are quick and easy. And really not just these days, but all the time because not everyone has so much time to slave away in, in the kitchen. And I think this is such a delicious meal. 
I think if you're gonna go to a barbecue, this is a great way to do something different than just burgers and hot dogs. And for the scallions, just cut off the ends. And these we just cut into kind of bigger, portions like this. I'm just gonna smash it. <clears throat> so this, if you were going to fry it up in the, um, in the pan, these scallions just end up being like a really nice little um, kind of byproduct of the marinade. And it kind of gives it a nice little extra veggie and just kind of smush it a little bit to release it. Put that to the side. So now that's kind of the heavy lifting. Now we're gonna mix everything together um, and then we'll make the marinade and then I'll, I'll slice the chicken so then um, it has slits in it so then the marinade can get in there and really, really um, get nice and delicious. So we have our ginger and we have our garlic. We're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. And to that I'm gonna add the Korean pepper flakes. Again, you can also omit that if you're looking for something a little bit less spicy and easier for the kids, but I actually find that it's not really that spicy, so you'll be fine. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of sesame oil. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now the gochujang. Go so I'm not an expert in Korean cooking, but I do find that you can find different recipes of different ethnicities and learn them and you know really enjoy the different traditions but goju means red pepper and chang means sauce so goju chang is a pepper sauce red pepper sauce so it looks like this it's just kind of like a, a thicker sauce so we're gonna do two tablespoons of this to be honest you can't really put too much of this but you can do nice heaping tablespoons. We're gonna mix this. Give it a nice, good whisk. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt to this as well. I'm gonna add the green scallions in there just to get it in. But now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna prepare the chicken. It's really funny, I have nice knives but I always go to the, um, the Asian ones even though um, it's not any name brand or anything but they do the job. I'm used to it. So I have here the chicken thighs and what you're gonna do is just make some slits in them. I do about two to three depending on how big they are. This just allows the marinade to get really in there. And I like to marinate this overnight. If possible, the longer the better. But you wanna give it at least two hours. Before you put them on the grill or in the air fryer or on the stove. I will say that the way you cook it will change um, the way that it comes out a little bit because when you do it on the stove it ends up being a little bit saucier um, but when you air fry it the skin is crispier so um, they're both really good um, it just depends on which one you're more prone to or which one you like better the only difference is if you're using um, the stove top you have to constantly um, stir it up and keep an eye on it while the air fryer you can just kind of set it and just check on it periodically so like that so we're gonna add our chicken So now all we're doing is we're adding the sauce to the chicken and we're gonna get it in there and then we're gonna let it rest. So, let's get it in there. I like to take a chicken and just wipe all <laughs> the marinade in there. You don't waste anything. 
And now we're just going to mix, mix, mix. It's so good. I know it's going to be so good. And after you've done marinating, this is what it looks like. It's just a beautiful red color. And you can tell just by looking at it how flavorful it is. You don't even need to taste it to know, but um, when you do taste it, you're going to find out it's even better. So I just love the color and taste of it too. And I'm one of those people, I can't eat the same thing all the time, so this adds like a different um, kind of arsenal or a different recipe to your arsenal that you can switch it up if you're feeling bored of the regular stuff. Okay, so I have this that I've made overnight and it's been sitting and getting really delicious. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put it in the air fryer um, and let it do its magic. It's about, I put it in the air fryer at 385 degrees um, for about 15 minutes or so, um, but I just check it periodically just to make sure um, it's crisping up nicely. Um, and then while we do that, we'll make soba noodles to go with this. So it's really quick. So in the time that this is cooking, we'll have soba noodles um, ready for, for our lunch. So let's get to it.